All right, we are back with an actual minor project this time around. So, uh, this is supposedly done by the jet fuel team, uh, and I think Haku team. I don't know who Haku is, but I do know who Jet Fuel is. That's the Jet Swap guys on Binance Coin. I'd imagine that's doing so badly. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've uh, used that project. But uh, with that being said, they've created their own little baked beans fork. And what I like about this one is they actually have an even lower APR than BNB Miner, which is 2% a day. And they actually have a dev tax at 3%. So in a lot of ways, the tokenomics are already better than BNB Miner. Now, the problem is there is no... There's no 24-hour cap on rewards. That's actually pretty important. Also, BNB Miner seems to have some kind of 50% rewards thing, but I don't actually understand what that means. Because um, I just, I don't know, I just look at my TVL on BNB Miner, uh, and it goes up or down. All right, so and whatever. You know, I compound when I wake up. I try to keep it at 12 hours. All right, 12 hours compounding, 12 hours withdrawal time for my minor projects. Well, the good ones. Everything else, I just drain the TVL like everyone else because I know I'm gonna lose. I know I'm gonna lose money, so it's just a matter of trying to minimize that loss. So, with that being said, um, this pays you a hybrid, so you get both AVAX and Haku tokens. Now, there might be a problem where you might get a lot less AVAX and a lot more Haku tokens, especially since I don't know what these Haku tokens are for. All right, I can't see, the, see a contract address, so maybe the Haku token's already live. So, so you, you just have to like keep that in mind. Um, this obviously launches in one day and two and a half hours from the recording of this video. Uh, but with that being said, I mean, this has a tax gap of negative one and very low daily APR. So, it's, so in, theory, in theory, it should be very sustainable, especially if you want something on AVAX. Me personally, um, I'm still going to just wait for like BNB miner style type of, not BNB, well, BNB miner style, but also crops farmer type of projects, you know, so. Because I, as much as I like to get into baked cats, I mean, I already have BUSD crops farmer, so I don't know. Uh, also, I'm a little hesitant about that 15% daily APR. I know the tax is 10%, but... Um, I don't know. Uh, sustainability is kind of more important to me. And that's the other thing, too, because the APR is so high and everyone's forced to compound, your earnings get diluted significantly faster. So it's actually better to come in much later, right, after the dilutions happen. Then you get more farmers or cats or miners or whatever they call it. So that being said, uh, I don't know what Haku is, but apparently this is uh, legit guys, and I know Jet Jet Swap Jet Fuel, they're still around. I know they're also legit too. So I figure, I mean, so as long as the guy is right and that this is, and that this is actually by those guys, this should be an okay project. But again, just be mindful that you're going to be getting two types of rewards. So I don't know how it's coded, but. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you put money in and then you get mostly Haku tokens. So, I don't know. If the token is worthless, I mean, you kind of just throwing your money away. That's like, that's really the only risk I can think of with this type of project. But aside from that, I mean, I mean it should be very sustainable, right? It should be, all right? Quote, unquote. So, I don't know. I guess that would be good, too. Because, like, if they're paying you out Haku tokens and not really the AVAX, then that basically means that this contract size should keep growing should keep going up. It'll come at the expense of everyone getting pissed off about getting, like, you know, a so-called token that could be worthless. All right. So, uh, yeah, high risk app, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we all know, we all know the risks involved. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to be passing on this project, but yeah, this could look pretty good. You know, I mean, again, it just depends on what you're willing to, you know, put in. And, of course, AVAX is, like, worthless right now, right? Because crypto's not doing so hot. Let's see. At least it's back at $61. At one point, it was worth $102. So, believe it or not, I would actually want to hoard my AVAX. Because when this crypto stuff comes back, right, you know, we'll have to see. Because now I see that they're trying to play with a different uh, crisis kind of thing stuff going on. Because now the situation over in... Eastern Europe is actually starting to resolve, especially now that everyone's realizing in Europe, 
hey, we can't just keep pissing people off. Now we have no gas, and now we have to wear sweaters. So, I mean, you F around and you find out. Like, that's like a favorite, uh, sh you know, shit of uh, saying. Yeah, well, it goes all it goes both ways, too. So, yeah. So that'll, so that'll play itself out. And then we'll move on to a new crisis. So, I don't actually know. What will be the new crisis? I mean, I know the Roe v. Wade thing is going to provide, like, quite a bit of a distraction for a while, but, um, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, that's not the, that's not going to, you know, what, especially since people are already pretty mad about abortions anyway, so. So, that's not that. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to just see what happens, you know, the. The global H words will come up with some other G word thing, so just be ready. Uh, and again, that's actually why I'm just trying to just stay on crypto. And I have my BUSD and my Binance Dollar Lucky Cat. And what is the other one? Oh, I'm doing RocketGame.io, even though that one is probably is already in the process of failing. The contract is draining on that. You know, I'm just holding my stable coins and my crypto, and I'm just like hoarding more and more. So. <sighs> we just gotta migrate to another sphere contract because Sim wants to go to US dollar base. I mean, yeah, but he said he's gonna. I mean, he should really just make it so that when he makes that next contract, he should just split the same contract into two pools so people could just choose whatever they want. You don't have to keep migrating. Because it is kind of annoying having to reset my chart and my contract addresses like all the time. It's like, eh. <sighs> So, oh well, yeah. So anyway, check out Minds of Haku. Uh, it should be legitimate. I mean, I'm just going based on whatever rabbit hole or Showtime video, whatever, Showtime Professor. I didn't realize that's actually a pretty good name. Showtime Professor said about this being uh, by the Haku and Jet Swap team. So, yeah. And tokenomics, again, look pretty good. I just don't know about this part, you know, the dual reward structure. So it's up to you, and of course you'll have a basically a one day and a couple hours to you know figure it out. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, like, subscribe, share this video around. Thank you again to all the new people in the old. Let's keep growing the channel. And let's try to hit 15 or 1600 subscribers. I'll probably take a look. You know what? Let me just take a look now. Uh, okay, so video is done processing. So let's hit publish. Uh, we're stuck at 1492. Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't help that, like, interest in crypto just sucks when, like, you know, crypto goes down, so. Also, a lot of my projects recently have been minor projects, which actually have the fewest views, so that doesn't help, which is ironic, because it's the one that gives you the most consistent money. <laughs> I think mean, that's just how it goes, I guess. I'll see you in the next video. It's going to be an NFT game. Uh, that's not out yet, but supposedly they'll have a 1% drip fork, or not 1%, they'll have a drip fork network kind of thing, so, I don't know, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll see you there, thanks.